Well, hi, people. I'm Farmer Dave, and we're here on the West Hills Bridge map. And uh, what we're doing today is uh, we're unloading a bunker. And what I've done is I've set up course play. And for the video, I'm kind of cheating a little bit, is I'm running the bucket. <laughs> for some reason... I have not set up the load, the transport, and the carry uh, positions for the lizard loader here. But we're at the bio plant and we're selling silage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. The lizard is actually driving itself. I'm not controlling the direction forward or reverse. I'm just controlling the bucket because it doesn't matter where the bucket is for some reason. Uh, right now in this uh, developer's version of course play. So I set up the three waiting points, the forward and the reverse, and basically what we have is this is the third waiting point where it's approaching right now. And so it's going to dump into the pit because I'm doing the controls on my controller. But as you can see in the lower right hand corner and I'm going to close the course play portion of it it has to wait until the pits empty I got it on five times X but now I am going not to work the bucket I'm just going to put it in the transport mode oh, about right there and let it run so now it's running by itself and I'm not controlling the bucket this go around but as you can see the fill level down there uh, it's filling the bucket it's backing up to where I reversed it and it's driving toward the pit and it will go over the pit but the bucket will not tip but you will see that the 10,000 will go out of the bucket after it sits here for a second now it's starting to unload of course right now it's waiting till it gets to zero because the pits almost full now it's backing away and going to go get another load. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave this puppy run all by itself. And it's going to unload that first pit. So I don't have to do it because it takes 60 trips at 10,000 per bucket full. There's 600,000 in this pit. And it will continue to go forward and back out to its spot and go dump it in the pit until that pit is empty. Or it just might just continue to do that until I come back to stop it, you know, once the pit's empty. So, I'm going to shut this recording down. And but I'm gonna dump one for you to make it look realistic. See, there's still some in the bucket. Now it's gone. So we'll just make it look more realistic by putting it into the load position. I might try this again 
to get it to do that by itself. I mean, I wouldn't be able to fill a trailer uh, without the bucket going up and down. So I don't know whether it's something or a sequence I forgot to get the bucket to do what it's supposed to do. Maybe I was supposed to do it while it was recording. Maybe that was it. Uh, so, but I need that But I need the pit emptied, so we're just going to go ahead and let it run. See, there's stuff in there, but it's going out little by little. Boop. When it backs up, I might be losing it. Because uh, if it can dump it on the ground, if it doesn't wait long enough. Huh. Well, there's more, and I got plenty of money in the bank. I mean, it's not like. But I would like it to be more realistic. Like, go down, pick it up, transport mode. And, you know, from cab view. <coughs> no, I'm coughing again, sorry. Uh, you know, it would look more realistic. Yeah. might have to turn this on because if it backs out before it hits zero I'm losing it can't really tell if my bucket's uh, square with the ground when I'm in cab view here But that's what we're doing. We're selling the silage with course play. I hope you enjoyed this little short video. Till next time, this is Farmer Dave at West Bridge Hills. And I hope you had a good one. Well, I'm back, and uh, I'm going to add this to that video, but as you can see, I went to tab out of the machine, and now all of a sudden, this thing is working by himself because I'm outside running and watching from ground level I'm gonna run up here and see if I can get up on here so we can watch from 
this vantage point. Did I fall off of that? There. I didn't want to fall off. But the loader is doing its thing all by itself. <laughs> oh, boy. Isn't that something to behold? So this portion of the development of course break, the shovel mode, is working as long as you put a weight point about right there where he was. Now he's uh, coming in here to get the silage and that's the transport mode. And then when he reverses he will raise the bucket up to dump mode so he can see where the pit is I mean you know and he's gonna dump into the silo and he's gonna sit there and wait because you know the pits kind of full at five times I'm still at five times. So he's got to wait till that 10,000 bucket. Uh, and I did kind of back him up kind of far. But if I had a another lizard, I suppose I could having have two loaders unloading two bunkers two separate ones so they don't run into each other but uh, I think what I'm going to do is just let him unload this bunker And watch him from different angles. But there it's dumping out. And the money's is going up. Whoops. That's all right. Let's go up the steps here. Jump up here and see if I can get up on top of this building and view it from, take a camera shot from here. Now isn't that beautiful scenery? I'll try and climb up that water tower uh, and get a camera view or a recording of that. <laughs> yeah. But we're just uh, farming away. Of course, I don't hear. I don't hear. the sounds of the tractor because I'm outside I guess so uh, I hope this is working we're going to stop the recording now and I hope you enjoyed another version of course play the shovel view or the shovel mode and ease up some of your hard work here on Farming Simulator 213.
with a little course play in multiplayer only there's not nobody here but me right now because evidently not too many people have the developers version of course play and I will be more than happy if there's any comments on how to how I got that in my mods folder it uh, took a little doing to get it to work but I saw some videos that said use ZZZ underlined courseplay dot zip and dots are not allowed underscores or underlines and commas I believe are the only two symbols that you can have in a mods name to put in your mods folder okay well here comes the rain so till next time at a rainy Westville West Bridge Hills farm this is Farmer Dave signing out bye all